Though they didn't know Mike Zainfeld, people in the community lined the streets to witness his procession. My son is a firefighter and he is very close. He had worked closely with this man. I didn't know him personally, but it still hits home. And you feel the solidarity that brings every single fireman, woman, person together here and you feel that, you feel that connection. They wanted to pay their respects and support the family and their first responders. Today is family, we grieve. We mourn the loss of a brother. I am a child of God. Hundreds poured into New Life Fellowship Church. And poured out love and support. Mike had an infectious smile and a happy, calm demeanor. Raised in this community, Zainfeld was a man of faith. He was the family fixer. When a need arose, he was the one that was there. He was the family's first responder, if you will. A loving husband and father. He was passionate in many areas of his life, but none more than his family life. He was a 25-year veteran of the department, joining at just 15. Public service was his calling. Today, it's not about how Mike passed. It's about how Mike lived. His family released a statement in light of his death by suicide. They ask for this to redefine how we look at mental health in first responders. They say, quote, this tragedy is preventable. Until mental health is viewed the same as any physical injury, we will continue to lose our heroes. We must grow. They go on to say, stand together, lift each other up, and listen to each other. Together, we won't let the bad days win. Together. We can heal this tragedy. Battalion Chief Michael Zainfeld is now out of service, never forgotten. Zainfeld was on medical leave and not on duty when he passed, but Cowlitz 2 Fire and Rescue is calling it a line of duty death. We want to say if you or someone who you know needs help, if you want someone to talk to, there are resources available. The Suicide Prevention Hotline available 24-7. That number is on your screen now. 1-800-273-8255.